Let's check in with the leader of the free world, President Joe Biden, who has had a rough week with his crack addict whore enthusiast son Hunter <laughs> facing multiple indictments, but not for all the offences he should be charged with. Uh, the Biden administration's ongoing border crisis has intensified with new monthly records being sent millions crossing into the US illegally every single year. This week, Another record smash with over 12,000 migrant encounters at the southern border on Tuesday. Yes, that's 12,000 in a single day. And that's just the ones that were encountered crossing illegally. But the president wasn't talking about the illegal immigration crisis yesterday or his degenerate son. He was in Nevada pledging billions for a high-speed train line, or as the president put it, how much? Over a billion, 300 million, trillion, 300 million dollars. <laughs> what was that, Joe? What was that? Over a billion, three hundred million, trillion, three hundred million dollars. What's most worrying <laughs> is that he was reading that from an auto cue, and he st we still got over a billion, three hundred million, trillion, trillion three hundred million. Dollars, yes. But pledging a $3 billion for trains presented Biden with a perfect opportunity to again repeat one of his favourite verifiable lies. This one about an Amtrak conductor he knows congratulating him for travelling more than a million miles. You, how many miles do you use an uh, aircraft in for the United States Air Force as vice president? I just read in the paper, Joe, you traveled 1,000, excuse me, 1,200,000 miles in Air Force. He said, big, I won't quote him exactly. He said, big deal, Joey. He said, we just had a retirement dinner in Newark, New Jersey. He said, just had a retirement dinner. You know how many miles you've ridden? I said, no, Angie. He said, 1,327,000 miles. I don't hear any more about the Air Force. <laughs> Why does he hate... <laughs> Doing this, it's one thing to lie about making money from your son's dodgy <laughs> business dealings that essentially amounted to a pay-for-access scheme, but why does the president lie about things that have been debunked, even by the friendliest pro-Democrat media, and about issues of little consequence? Is he such a pathological liar that he can't help himself? If Joe's lips are moving, it's almost guaranteed that lies are spilling out. Because even CNN, the Democrats' unofficial propaganda arm, has called out the president over this off-repeated lie. The, this fact check is from mid-2021. For the record, the dude he refers to retired from Amtrak in 1993. None of that story ever happened. <laughs> but it wasn't just tall tales about Amtrak conductors in his latest speech. The president also opined about law and order. Oh, this is All these mass murders, not, the, not this weekend, but have been because people have picked up kids and grabbed stuff off of counters, off of the... Oh, anyway, I don't want to get, I get angry. Oh dear. And he also told us he likes to go skeet shooting. Look, I own a couple shotguns. I, 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 I haven't shot them in a while because I used to usually just make target practice skeet shooting. So you haven't shot your guns for years. So what are you skeet shooting with, Joe? There are so many questions here. It's very perplexing. But like Australia, the biggest issue facing everyday Americans is the cost of living. And, oh, boy, the president had some good news to deliver on that front. All told, we've created 14 million jobs since he took office, more than any president has created in all four years of a term. Wages are up more than inflation. Oh, he stuck to the auto queue there wisely, but the auto queue was also full of lies. Sure, there's been millions of jobs added, but most of those jobs aren't new. They're simply workers returning to the jobs they were forced to leave due to the pandemic response. Taking credit for that is a bit rich. And as for his claim there that wage growth is higher than inflation, pure malarkey, the consumer <coughs> price index shows that prices have soared by more than 17% since President Joe Biden took office. Or as Joe would put it... Over a billion, 300 million, trillion, 300 million dollars. 